that tsunamis could provide crucial information about the habitability of ancient Mars. The first one occurred when the planet must have been relatively warm and amenable for life because it carved out backwash channels as it returned to the sea. By contrast, the planet had become much cooler by the time the second tsunami hit the waters apparently, flash froze after flowing the surface. Thompson recognized and exploited all the ingredients of a successful amusement ride. Writes Judith A. Adams in the American Amusement Park Industry. His coasters combined an appearance of danger with annual safety, thrilled riders with exhilarating speed, and allowed the public to intimately experience the industrial revolution's new technologies of gears, steel, and dazzling electric lights. As a historian, if you really want to understand the sensibilities of those who lived in the past, you must be like a novelist and get into the skin of your characters and think and feel as they do. You are asked to imagine what it's like to be a peasant in medieval times, asking the sort of questions a peasant might ask. What the writer is saying is that a historian needs imaginative sympathy with ordinary people in the past. Humans needs to use energy in order to exist. So, it is unsurprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution comes in many forms, but those that are more concerning because of their impact on health result from the combustion of fuels in power stations and cars.
A university is not a business. More precisely, a not-for-profit college or university is significantly different than a for-profit business. A university has no owners, it is a public trust. Without owners, it has no one to pay dividends to and no one for whom it must maximize its profits. A business has a single overriding goal, the maximization of return for the owners. A university has a multiplicity of goals to foster learning, to create knowledge and to serve its community. To understand the past you have to be able, as far as possible, to think as the people in the period you are studying thought. The example of what it must have been like to be a peasant in the Middle Ages is used. However, sensibilities change over time and we can't completely throw off the mentality of the present. Therefore, every age will have a slightly different perspective on the same period of the past, no matter what the facts are. While blue is one of the most popular colors, it is one of the least appetizing. Blue food is rare in nature. Food researchers say that when humans searched for food, they learned to avoid toxic or spoiled objects, which were often blue, black, or purple. When food dyed blue is served to study subjects, they lose appetite. Augustus was given the powers of an absolute monarch, but he presented himself as the preserver of republican traditions. He treated the senate or state council with great respect and was made consul year after year. He successfully reduced the political power of the army by retiring many soldiers but giving them land or money to keep their loyalty.
The course considers the ways in which thinkers have responded to the particular political problems of their day and the ways in which they contribute to a broader conversation about human goods and needs, justice, democracy, and the proper relationship of the individual to the state. Within this free course, you will be introduced briefly to the discipline of child psychology and to theories and approaches that have been developed to help us understand and support children's lives by focusing on the individual children. Psychologists can assist changes in their child's abilities over time, including their physical, cognitive, social and emotional development. The networks of roots that plants use to absorb water and nutrients can encompass a space larger than the part of the plant visible above ground. The nature of these root systems can help plants adapt to challenging environments such as deserts. For instance, mesquite trees can develop tap roots capable of digging more than 50 yards deep to reach water. A community's urban forest is an extension of its pride and community spirit. Trees enhance community economic stability by attracting businesses and tourists as people tend to linger and shop longer along tree-lined streets. Apartments and offices in wooded areas rent more quickly and businesses leasing office spaces in developments with trees reported higher productivity and fewer absences.
A study found that the research funded by the soft drinks industry had different results from research funded by other sources and went on to suggest that they may have been biased by the research itself. The whole point of the scientific methods is to ensure the research results are not influenced by the source of funding. In Abu Dhabi, where fresh water sources are very limited, sustainable water management is a high priority. The region receives on average just 120 mm of rainfall every year but the country is seeing demand for water increase by almost 40% annually. In this situation, it is clear that Abu Dhabi needs to boost the efficiency of water use by increasing water recycling. Conscientiousness is a fundamental personality trait. A conscientious person is good at self-regulation and impulse control. This trait influences whether you will set and keep long-range goals, deliberate over choices, behave cautiously or impulsively, and take obligations to others seriously. Blue whales are the largest living mammals. Though reports of maximum length and weight vary from one account to another, Antarctic blue whales are known to have reached lengths to 100 feet and weights of over 150 tons before stocks were severely depleted by whaling operations. North Atlantic blue whales may be expected to reach lengths of 80 to 85 feet.
Rarely, however, does a single research study produce the certainty needed to assume that the same results will apply in all or most settings. Rather, research is usually an ongoing process based on many accumulated understandings and explanations that, when taken together, lead to a generalization about educational issues and practice, and, ultimately, to the development of theories. Your body is nearly two thirds water. And so it is really important that you consume enough fluid to stay hydrated and healthy. If you don't get enough fluid, you may feel tired, get headaches, and not perform at your best. To some extent, attendance at cultural venues and events is influenced by a person's age and the composition of the household in which they live. For example, those people in households with dependent children were more likely to visit zoological parks and aquariums than people living in single-person households. Your tutor helps you make the most of your time at university by giving you guidance and support along the way. All new students are allocated a personal tutor who will encourage you to get the most out of your course, direct you to other sources of support, and help you achieve your goals.
At a time when stress levels are soaring, rates of depression are increasing and the gap between rich and poor is ever widening. We believe that giving can play a positive role in helping people to feel connected to those around them and generate a sense of purpose and hope. When we give, we feel valued, useful and happy. Three hundred and eighty years after his death, William Shakespeare remains the central author of the English-speaking world. He is the most quoted poet and the most regularly produced playwright, and now among the most popular screenwriters as well. Why is that? And who is he? Why do so many people think his writing is so great? What meanings did his plays have in his own time? And how do we read, speak, or listen to his words now? Most countries are affected by labor migration. In many rural places, the traditional, extended family has been undermined by the need for family members to migrate to towns as an economic necessity. Migration, therefore, presents a major challenge everywhere to social and economic policy. Yet this landscape, which appeared so alien and confronting to the white settlers and explorers, had been home for thousands of years to indigenous Australians for whom the plains, ranges and deserts were a sustaining, spiritual and integral part of their existence.
Children as young as 14 months old will spontaneously help others for no reward. But a study of 3 to 5 year olds found that, although they would spontaneously draw pictures, if they were given a reward for drawing pictures, then later they wouldn't make any drawings unless a reward was offered. Plato often explores the father-son relationship and whether a father's interest in his sons has anything to do with how well his sons turn out. A boy's social identity in ancient Athens was determined by his family identity and Plato often refers to his characters in terms of their parental and fraternal relationships. Socrates was not a family man and considered himself as his mother's son. The assembly also decided that, at that special session, it would adopt a concise and action-oriented political declaration, agreed upon in advance by consensus through intergovernmental negotiations under the auspices of the conference. At an early stage in the examination of the domicile of dependency rule in so far as it related to married women it seemed to the commission that it would be better to examine the whole concept of domicile, particularly as dependent domicile arises in the case of minors, children under the age of majority, and mentally disordered persons as well as in the case of married women.
A level of competence in chemistry is essential to the professional practice of material conservation. An understanding of scientific concepts and a basic scientific vocabulary enables the conservator to understand conservation problems, treatments, material, techniques in a systematic and quantifiable way, which can be communicated not only to colleagues in the profession but also those from other disciplines. Quite obviously, a significant rise in the number of people in a given area or country will affect the demand for a whole host of goods and services. Note that a change in the structure of the population will increase the demand for some goods but reduce the demand for others. The advantage of the great European and American orchestras is that they were able to establish their iconic status in an age when their identity could become entrenched, there was less competition and it was easier to create a brand. Not only did they have the best halls, they attracted the best musicians who tended to stay put. There is every reason to believe that effective regulations are not merely a luxury that only the rich can afford, but an important foundation for a thriving private sector and economic growth. But the broad pattern of the past five years has been that the main reform efforts are taking place in rich countries.
Despite a number of events in recent years devoted to language diversity, language endangerment, and multilingualism, such as the International Year of Languages, public awareness of the issues is still remarkably limited. Only one in four of the population know that half the languages of the world are so seriously endangered that they are unlikely to survive the present century. Nature offers no greater splendor than the starry sky on a clear, dark night. Silent and, dwelled with the constellations of ancient myth and legend, the night sky has inspired, wonder throughout the ages a wonder that leads our imaginations far from the confines of earth and the pace of the present day and out into the distant reaches of space and cosmic time itself. Renewable energy sources like solar and wind power are becoming increasingly popular as we seek to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. These sources of energy are clean, sustainable, and can help to reduce carbon emissions and mitigate the effects of climate change. Reading is a crucial skill that can open up a world of knowledge and imagination. In addition to improving vocabulary and comprehension, reading can also enhance empathy and perspective taking.
The global population is expected to reach 9.7 billion by 2050, placing increased pressure on resources like food, water, and energy. To ensure sustainable development and avoid resource depletion, we must adopt more efficient and equitable systems of production and consumption. The importance of mental health has gained increased recognition in recent years, with more attention being paid to the effects of stress, anxiety, and depression on individuals and communities. To promote mental well-being, we must prioritize self-care, support, systems, and access to mental health services. The importance of critical thinking skills cannot be overstated, as they allow us to analyze and evaluate information, make informed decisions, and navigate complex issues. Developing critical thinking skills requires practice and discipline, but can lead to greater clarity and understanding in all areas of life. The importance of sleep for our physical and mental health cannot be overstated. Getting enough sleep is linked to improved cognitive function, reduced risk of chronic diseases, and better emotional regulation.